Good morning, handsome boy. You are bright and early. Did you sleep well last night? I slept very well last night. Did you sleep very well last night, Grandma? I did. I feel very refreshed after a restful night of sound sleep. It was a long car ride to come and visit you, your sister, and your mum and dad. It's Saturday. No school today. Wouldn't you like to sleep in for a couple more hours this morning? No. I prefer to get up early to be with you. Thanks. I love to speak with you. What do you do every morning when you wake up and get out of bed? I go to the bathroom and pee, and then I brush my teeth, and after that, gargle my mouth with mouthwash. And then wash my face with a washcloth at the sink in the bathroom, and then I go to the toilet to relieve my bowels. <laughs> you know, poop. After all that, I change into some street clothes and be ready to do things during the day. That's good. I see you have a nice routine of cleaning your teeth, your face. And getting rid of the waste in your body, <laughs> I think it's better also to take a shower or a bath in the morning. Do that before you change into your street clothes to be ready to do things during the day. A shower or a bath has a refreshing and calming effect on your body. You should try it, and I'm very sure you will like it. Make it part of your morning routine. Okay, I shall follow your advice, Grandma. Before I forget, I should tell you that you should brush your teeth and gargle your mouth before going to bed. I do that every night as part of my routine, Grandma. That's very good. That's a smart boy. While we're talking about cleanliness, I should tell you that you should wash your hands as often as you can when you're up and about. But you definitely must wash your hands each time before you handle any food for yourself or for others. Why do I have to wash my hands so often, Grandma? It is because there are lots of bacteria, also known as germs, around and on the surfaces of things you may touch as you go about doing things in your day. What are bacteria? There are tiny creatures that you can only see under a microscope. Bacteria are everywhere, even inside your stomach. The ones that live in your stomach normally are good for your body, as they help you to digest food. Bad bacteria that get into your body can cause a sore throat or diarrhea. Diarrhea causes loose bowels, and you have to run to the toilet to discharge the stool very often. What is a microscope? A microscope is an instrument made up of lenses that can magnify or enlarge the images of tiny things. When you look at things placed under a microscope. The tiny creatures can be magnified by ten times, twenty times, or even fifty times. When you touch a surface of things that are covered by bacteria, the bacteria are transferred to your hand. And if you were to touch your nose, your eye, or your lips with the palm of your fingers that have bacteria on them. That is when the bacteria can find their way into your nose, your eye, or your mouth, and then they will travel to other parts inside your body. Depending on what kind of bacteria they are, you may become very sick. That's scary, Grandma. I'll make sure that I wash my hands with soap and water as often as possible. And I'll definitely make sure that I wash my hands before handling any food. As a practical point for you to note, 
please make sure that after you have washed your hands with soap and water in a public washroom, you dry your hands with paper towel provided and then use the paper towel to touch and handle the doorknob or door lever or pull handle of the public washroom to open the door to get out of the washroom. In this way, your clean palm and fingers do not get contaminated with bacteria on the doorknob or door lever or pull handle on your way out of the washroom. Do not use the blow dryer in the washroom to dry your hands because the blowing of the dirty air in the toilet will reintroduce the bacteria back onto your clean hands. I am glad you tell me all these things about bacteria, Grandma. I now know how to avoid getting them in public places. Thank you.